So when I got certified, Kylie did it in the lake, and it was, I'd always wanted to scuba dive, and I actually had a really hard time. Um, my first time I did my open water dive, I couldn't do the final skill we had to, which was a mass clearing, and I got really panicked, and I came up to the surface, and I was like, I don't know if I can do this, like I'm freaking out, and Kylie just kind of was like, it's gonna be okay, just take a deep breath, you can do this, and from there I feel like every time something's gone wrong, or every time something has you know, not worked out the way that I expected or I've been stressed, I've always kind of taken that moment and been like, okay, you're right, like, take a deep breath, you can do this. I would have to say that I did not expect the work to make me as exhausted as I have been, but it's absolutely wonderful work and I'm so happy that we get to do it every day and the things we see on a daily basis just continue to amaze me. That enthusiasm, I think, is what drives my passion for doing work in this field. Having Kylie and Dr. C as mentors has really helped me understand what it means to have your own project and to do things on your own as an independent student. And I think that's really helped in regards to what I would want to do on my own. I'm completely new to more underwater reef systems. I've worked with sea turtles, but more land-based. So I've seen a lot of new stuff that I've never even seen or knew about. One of the things that has really stuck out to me is that, I mean, you're exhausted doing our work. I mean, it's hard, but the other day, we were just kind of sitting and I was waiting for everyone else to be done. And I just kind of sat and I looked at the reef and I just had one of those moments where I was like, I would rather be exhausted doing this than be anywhere else because this is what really matters. And I think that really just made me realize that I picked the right lab. This is exactly what I should be doing and I can't wait to start that process.